we shall now discuss a very important and very popular topic and that is grid connection of the pv power so the pv power is a fluctuating power it varies over the day it reaches a peak at noon and it is dependent on the insulation so it is not a fixed power so therefore you need to use an energy buffer like a battery or like a pumped hydro or uh, a compressed air some such energy storage uh, or energy buffering is needed uh, for most of the applications now uh, if you consider grid the grid power is available uh, and a fair, uh, uh, any amount of power can be drawn from it within reasonable limits and it is something like an ideal source where the impedance uh, where the output impedance is almost negligible now how do we interconnect such a pv power and the grid together and uh, bring some use out of it so if the pv power whatever power is available from the pv output whatever power the pv modules are capable of capturing and delivering it at the output all that power let us supply it to the grid and let the grid appropriately distribute it to the various loads so it acts in the role of a supplementing source so if it is happening from your bindling let us say the pv modules are on your rooftop and uh, from um, uh, uh, your rooftop you have wired it and connected it in such a way that you are pumping power into the grid you will be benefiting in terms of lesser electricity bills to be paid so therefore grid connection has become very popular and it is um, uh, it is supplementing the grid in a very very significant way so what we need to see is how do we connect the pv modules to the grid what is the sort of electronics that will come in between which will make this possible and that is what we would like to study but first let us look at the principle of grid connection consider a grid a single phase grid something like this i have line and neutral and in between line and neutral i am representing the grid as a voltage source so sine wave voltage source and uh, let let me make the measurement uh, in this fashion as shown by the arrow and i'll call it as vg vg represents grid voltage now to this grid you cannot connect a, another voltage source in parallel you can definitely connect a current source in parallel like this where the current source here is connected between this common which is the neutral point and this line so the current source is a high output impedance source and therefore it can pump current at a preset level into the grid and therefore power is pumped into the grid so if you have a current source and this current source deriving power from a pv module you can definitely connect it like this however note caution very important you cannot connect a voltage source like this in parallel let us say i have a voltage source and i i use the symbol vi because most of the time the voltage source that we will be building this is what we will be building is coming from the output of an inverter so i will name it as vi inverter output so this voltage source if you connect it in parallel like this there is bound to be huge ig a circulating current between these two either in this direction or in this direction and something is going to blow so do not connect these two voltage sources directly like this instead you will have to interpose an impedance l like this in between so this inductance is a non dissipative energy storing element so it will act as the impedance and try will try to match this voltage source and these these two voltage sources 
Alternately, you can view it as this voltage source along with the inductance in conjunction with the inductance together they would form a current source and therefore now these two together uh, is a current source which I can connect it to the grid. So now let me look at the wave shape of the grid voltage that you have no control it is decided by the grid and the IG the current that you decide to pump into the grid. So let us have a look at these two voltage wave shapes versus time that is. So x axis is time and the y axis is basically the magnitudes of the voltages and the current. So let me draw first the magnitude of the voltage Vg. So it is a 50 hertz signal here. It is having a period of 20 milliseconds and this Vg in an ideal sense is a pure sinusoid and I will write it as Vm sin omega t but in a practical sense Vg the grid voltage is not a sinusoid it has lot of harmonics. So there is lot of uh, uh, total harmonic distortion THT present in the grid voltage waveform but for now assume that this source is a sinusoidal it is just containing this single fundamental Vm sin omega t. Now how would you like to have the Ig that you are going to put into the grid? We would like to for max maximum utilization of the PV panels from which you are drawing power we would like the Ig to be fed in uh, into the grid in such a way that maximum active power is put into the grid. So in under such conditions you would like to put Ig in, in phase with the voltage waveform at unity power factor at whatever amplitude Im as decided by the maximum power point of the PV panels which is driving this voltage controlled source. So this is Ig which is Im sin omega t. So both the voltage and the current have the same phase, same, uh, same wave shape as shown here. What is the power? The power is Vm into Im by 2. This we know you can integrate uh, integral of uh, 1 by t integral of Vg Ig dt you will get the power average power is Vm Im by 2. Now let me consider the voltage across the inductor. I will measure the voltage across the inductor in this fashion call it as Vl and then let us look at this loop and write down the voltage equation. So Vg plus Vl Vg plus Vl should be equal to Vi. Vi is the voltage coming out of the inverter. Now what is Vl? Vl has a direct relationship with Ig. If Ig is sinusoidal, Vl should be cosinusoidal. If Vl is sinusoidal, Ig should be cosinusoidal. So we want Ig to be sinusoidal so that it is in phase with uh, the Vg. Therefore, you will see that Vg plus L dIg by dt is Vi. Now, if Ig is given in this fashion, Im sin omega t, dIg by dt will be omega Im cos omega t. We will replace this equation appropriately. Vg is Vm sin omega t plus omega L Im cos omega t after the differentiation, which is equal to Vi. So this is the crucial relationship. If I have Vi here in this fashion, so the voltage across the inductance would be this minus this. And the current through the inductance or the current that is going to be put into the grid Ig is given by 1 by L integral of Vi minus Vg into dt. This is coming from the inductor equation. Now Vi if I set it equal to this Vm sin omega t plus omega L Im cos omega t 
minus Vg which is Vm sin omega t. The Vm sin omega t will get cancelled and what will be appearing across the inductor will be omega L Im cos omega t. Now that is a cosine wave. Now on integrating Ig which is the output of the integrator will be a sinusoidal wave and that is what we need and that is what we expect so that it is in phase with the voltage. So the takeaway from here is that this source is a controlled source. We are making it and how would you like to control it? We would like to control it in such a manner that Vi is taking this value. So output of the inverter that we are controlling should have this value which means I should appropriately set the reference such that the output Vi is coming to this much. So under such conditions then the current that is flowing through Ig will be as given by this and it will be sinusoidal and in phase with Vg because Vl will be cosinusoidal. So this is the basic underlying principle. So instead of using a voltage controlled inverter where I set the reference voltage of the output of the inverter to be like this, I could control the current directly of the inductor, that is the inductor current Ig, which is also the current that is going to be pumped into the grid. So if I feed back the current Ig and set the reference current Ig reference such that I am drawing the peak power from the PV modules then the controller will do the job of appropriately giving the control input such that Vi is at a value here such that Ig what you desire will flow. So a current controlled inverter comprising of the inductor and the inverter and the feedback given by measuring the inductor current back and setting the reference current according to the peak power of the photovoltaic module would be a very effective way of connecting the PV modules to the grid. So we will see how we will go, how we will go about achieving this both in single phase and three phase grids.